come to some of the more uh, lesser teams per se, uh, mm. some of the more interesting uh, mm. lineups. Uh, Scuderia Toro Rosso, uh, we have Scott Speed and Pit Antonio Luzzi. Pet, what are your thoughts on uh, Speed v Luzzi? Well, Speed just got confirmed recently, so that was quite funny as we discussed in the past. But uh, I think they'll be similar to last year. I think last year, uh, Luzzi and Speed, there was no one who really uh, shone. No one really jumped ahead and said, yeah, I'm, I'm the talent. They, they were pretty even last year. And I'm actually expecting them to do the same uh, for this year. I think Luzzi, uh, Liuzzi, if he can be consistent, uh, will outdo speed, speed. Uh, this year. Uh, unfortunately for Antonio, uh, I think he believes a lot of the hype about himself. Mm. Uh, He's a very confident young man, isn't he? Yeah, he is, mm. but unfortunately confidence doesn't necessarily translate to, uh, to fast lap times. Yeah. Um, he tends to go missing um, a little bit in uh, Bronze Prix, uh, but I'd like to see um, Gerhard turn around to this kid and oh, say, yeah, listen here, um, you know, mm. lap, laps of 50 or 60, you know, or Grand, Grand Prix of 50 or 60 laps a race, you've got to concentrate for all of them, not, not, not for 10 here and then, and then like maybe 10 laps there, yeah. uh, it's the whole you've race. Got to, you've got to do it all. Yeah, he is, he is a quick driver, I, 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 I think that's undeniable, but he, to me he's just inconsistent. Uh, Scott Speed last year um, I thought was okay, uh, could have done a lot better. Uh, but I, I, I'm wondering how much uh, he really wants to be in F1 when, you, when your opponent is, is Lutzi. A quick guy, mm. but an inconsistent guy uh, for mine. But I'd like to see Lutzi with, um, uh, with a little bit of experience behind him now, uh, stepping up at the plate this year, and I don't think there's any more excuses for Lutzi. Uh, he burst on the scene a couple of years ago, and uh, I'd like to see him uh, realise his potential. So for me, it's Lutzi. But yeah, I tend to agree. I mean, Scott Speed is uh, Scott Speed doesn't have the credentials that uh, Tonio does and Tonio seems to me to be a more complete racing car driver and uh, the very fact that they delayed on Speed and there was rumours about him, his performances and things, I just mm. I just think that Tonio has got a bit more commitment. Okay. Yeah, so thumbs up for Antonio. Thumbs up for Liuzzi. Yeah, we uh, love Liuzzi. Let's hope he's a little bit more consistent. Yeah, we love Liuzzi. Yeah. Okay, next we come to... Uh the, uh, the Spiker lineup. Oh, uh, the orange car. That's right. Mm. And the Ferrari, Christian Albeth. Albeth. And uh, Adrian Sutil. Yes, young Adrian. Okay, I can say from the outset, I think um, Albeth will will get the upper hand. Uh, he's had the extra experience than Sutil. Sutil's a rookie. Um, that's really all, I'll, all I, I can say on, on Spiker this year. Mate, if it was an election, I'd vote one for Albeth. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, Sotil is uh, is quick, and maybe one day he'll be uh, a, a very very quick driver and a contender. But at the moment, it's a bad learning curve year. Yeah, uh, I don't think anyone would uh, would, would think it yeah. otherwise. Absolutely. Okay. And last but not least, we come to Super Aguri uh, with Takuma Shanto, uh, sorry Sato, uh, and uh, and our mate Ant Davidson. So mate, uh, do you think Takuma's uh, prime now after a couple of years of mediocrity? Do you think he's uh, he's going to step up at the plate this year, mate, or do you think Ant Davidson, the uh, the rookie in Formula One, uh, is is going to uh, smack him? Mate, I've already, <laughs> I've already shown my hand a little bit with uh, Ant. I like Ant. I, he he's my tip for rookie of the year, and I think he's uh, you know get behind Ant Davidson. <laughs> Dot this com guy's been forward here. slash. Yeah, Ooh. and <laughs> the, the guy's been waiting for so long, and Takuma Sato, well, you know, I, I just don't know about Takuma. He's never had anyone in the car next to him that you could say, well, okay, there's a benchmark. I'm voting for Ant. I yeah. love Ant. I want Ant to do well. I want him to do Rookie of the Year. So, thumbs up, Ant. I think it was telling when... Um, when uh Sato lost his, uh, his ride at BAR, but no other team picked him up, which yeah. I don't think was a real surprise nor a revelation for anyone. Um, Japanese guy, uh, yeah. thrown a lifeline from a Japanese team. Yeah. Uh, the Honda Works team didn't want him uh, anymore. Um, and I think uh, Takuma uh, has, has had his day, uh, and I think it's terrific. I think it's a little bit it's related. Ant. Yeah, I think it's a little bit... Uh, <laughs> It's Ant. I think it's a bit belated that Ant got his uh, his opportunity in Formula One, but he's got it now, and I hope he grabs it with uh, with both hands and uh, and shakes it up. So, for Pep and I, it's Ant Davidson and Takuma. Nay, no, you're gone.
Max, I can tell you I'm going to be following Ant very, very closely this year. Very closely. I'm watching you, Ant. I want to see what you can do. <laughs> he is. He's watching me. Rookie of the year. All right, you've called it. You've called it. You've ho- he's, he's called it ahead of Heike Kovalainen. He's called it. All right, we'll Ooh. see. Well, listen, everyone, that's, uh, that's all we have for podcast number 12. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, today, and uh, if you'd like to give us your, uh, your ideas on, uh, on which uh, driver you think will outdo his co-driver, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, send us an email. Let us know who's going to beat who. Awesome. Indeed. Okay, guys, until next time. See you later. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.